Hey guys, welcome into another overclocking video. So we've still got these two 6600 XTs on the bench and we're currently mining flux. So this is the current power draw, around 142. And yeah, I'll jump into the software and show you what we're getting for that 142 watts. Hey, so we're in the software side of things now and we've got the numbers up on the screen. 142 minus 17 watts system idle equals 125 watts between the two GPUs. Uh, so that is 62.5 watts each. Uh, we're getting an average of 22.8 sol or solutions per second. Uh, and then yeah, dividing that by the wattage gives us our efficiency of 0 0.3648. Uh, as I mentioned in this video here, this 6600 uh, flux mining uh, video we got 0 0.389 and uh, it's not the most efficient GPU for flux. Uh, there's some that go to like 0 0.4, 0 0.41, maybe even 0 0.42. Uh, some maybe even higher than that. I'm not the best with flux. It actually took me a really long time to get these numbers. Um, for some reason, the second GPU didn't like 1800 core for the longest time. I was testing it for like a couple of hours and I put 1800 core in, pretty much deleted all the other settings and tried many different uh, mem, mem clocks and they wouldn't go above about like 12 or 13 sols. So then I just uh, gave up for the night and uh, put it back onto mining Ethereum for the night. Came back and put in the same 1800 uh, in the same settings for this one into this one and it just worked so yeah not really sure what happened there but yeah then another funny thing that popped up was uh, as I was pulling these numbers lower and lower generally you'd expect a crash and that's when you know that you shouldn't go any lower you should then move it upwards but with these I actually noticed that I maintained the same souls. They were still there, but the thing that tipped me off that something was wrong was the GPU, despite being on uh, really low fans, like we got 48% or 50% here and 15% here, uh, one of the GPUs dropped down to like 30 something degrees, 33, which is pretty much what it would sit at if it wasn't doing anything. So uh, that kind of got me suspicious, so I opened up the miner, which, yeah, you just click this one here. Uh, check the password in, and then come into here, and where it says pool hash rate 48.3 souls right there, I was saying zero for one of the GPUs. Well, yeah, I mean, it still had... Uh, about 22 and a half so it was saying 22 and a half there which is what one gpu was getting so that tipped me off that something was wrong again and when i looked at the pool side and <laughs> yeah needless to say there was there was nothing coming through on the pool side um yeah so that was really weird and i just had to move the millivolt settings up all these ones that say MV next to them. I just had to increase the ones that I was playing with at that time in order to stop that from happening. Uh, and also here are the settings by the way for anyone who was gonna just copy them. Uh, but yeah, be aware that, well I mean your fan's gonna have to be dependent on which GPU you have, uh, which board partner has made that GPU. Uh, the like the XFX one is a triple fan so it barely requires any fans being on, it's at 15%. Um, and then the millivolt settings, they're all going to vary GPU by GPU. So for example, we've already got like differences between these two GPUs here. And then depending on which one you've got, there'll be differences again. But yeah, this is what I managed to get for that. And it is coming through on the pool side now. so. The average for the past two hours that you can see just here is around 50 souls. I haven't actually been running it properly for two hours. You can see 
uh, in here it's been like up and down so yeah I'd just kind of bring it to uh, a testing point where I'd then reboot the rig and then uh, see if uh, the under vault settings would crash it on reboot because sometimes you just reboot the rig and it'll suddenly crash and you won't have any idea why but it's just because the settings weren't stable enough to handle a reboot <coughs> but yeah managed to get fairly efficient settings on this but it's not the most efficient gpu on flux as you can see there with the uh, efficiency number there uh yeah so i'm not the biggest fan of 6600 xts which is kind of ironic because i'm a big uh fan of amd and a lot of people say that like the 6600 xt is the best amd gpu but it's just not <laughs> it's it's not the most efficient um uh, it's significantly more expensive than the 6600 even though it doesn't provide much more hash rate uh, it's just not really worth it to me so yeah it's my thoughts on it anyway but it's uh not too bad on flux and not too bad on ethereum not too bad on raven either but yeah not quite as good as the 6600 but yeah if you're wanting to copy those settings go ahead and use those maybe increase the millivolt settings and that should be about it although you might have some uh, funky numbers with memory clocks and core clocks if you have slightly different luck on the silicone lottery you might have to adjust some of those as well but more than likely you just have to change the millivolt settings sweet that's all i got for this video so thanks for watching uh if this helped you in any way leave a like and uh yeah comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya